Is he kidding? What? You heard me! Dig in! One hole I thought somebody else would dig for me. What is it, Bialos? You sure picked a convenient place to dig in, Lieutenant. I got a message from Captain Harper. What is it? The Italian wants to know. Why your patrol leader hasn't shown up at S2 for debriefing? Because he hasn't gotten back yet, that's why. Well, sir, they want him, or at least one member of the patrol, to go out again right away. They need someone who knows the area. Are they kidding? They won't be fit for anything for a week but sleep. Well, sir, that's what the captain told battalion, but they said it was uh, imperative. All right, tell the captain I'll get him out one way or the other, if he gets back. Yes, sir. Is this all? Yeah, that's all. Just one and a... and a half out of six. Ran into a mess of them, huh? We never even saw a German, Lieutenant. Just... snipers and landmines. They got the whole area covered and trapped a field mouse couldn't get through. Daylight patrols haven't got a chance. You've got to report back to S2 right away. I've got nothing to report. I didn't see a thing, not a... not a thing. We just got slaughtered. They want you back anyway. You've got to go out again. I'm sorry, Saunders. I can't do anything about it. Orders just came down. Somehow I feel like I belong here. Combat. A Selmer production. Now from the 
number of reconnaissance patrols we've been sending out the last couple of days, you've all probably got the idea that something pretty important is in the wind. Well, there is. Major O'Connors is going to brief you himself. Major? You all know we're stretched out thin along here. We don't have much in reserve, either. The reason is that our troops are concentrating for a breakthrough in another area. Now, the success for this breakthrough depends upon our being able to hold this line along here with what we've got. We have reason to believe that the Germans are going to attack. We can stop them if we know where. But unless we can anticipate where they're going to hit us, they'll walk over us like we were a string of ants. This battalion has sent out 16 reconnaissance patrols in the last 10 hours. Casualties have been heavy, and the information is zero. We're going to keep on sending out patrols until we find out what we have to know. I can't impress upon you how important any information you can come back with is. I don't care how small or trivial it may seem, it could give us the key. We have to know where they're going to attack. All right, Captain. OK. Now, you've all been individually briefed on what areas you're supposed to cover. Now move out, and good luck. Uh, Sergeant Jenkins, Sergeant Saunders, uh, you stay here for a minute. Hey, Jenkins, this is Sergeant Saunders from K Company. Uh, Sergeant Jenkins is leading a patrol into the area you just covered. You two men know each other? No, I don't think so. How are you? Is that all, sir? No. Saunders is going in with your patrol. I've already picked my men. I don't need anyone else. I'm sending him along with you because he's familiar with the area. He's been there twice. Captain, I've led as many patrols as any man in this outfit. I don't need somebody tagging along whose nose I might have to wipe. A patrol is your responsibility, Jenkins. Saunders is going along because he's familiar with the area. You just take advantage of his knowledge. He lost five men in there this morning. That's what I'm talking about. What is that crack supposed to mean? All right, Sergeant Jenkins, you've got your orders. You heard what the Major said. Now organize your patrol and move out of here. Yes, sir. And come back with something. Okay, Sonny, let's go. Let's find out where the bad guys are. Wilson, you see him? No. Jenkins! Stay back! That sniper's waiting for somebody to try to help him. Where is he? I don't know, but he knows where we are. Okay. Cover me. If I draw fire, try to spot him. Stay back! What now, Sergeant? I'm gonna flush him out and kill him. You don't even know where he is. You don't even know how many of them are in these woods. You wanna lose your whole patrol? Now, what would you suggest, Sergeant? I suggest we bypass him. We're still a mile and a half before we reach the river. That was our mission, wasn't it? You wouldn't be afraid of a little action, would you? 
Yeah, I'm afraid 24 hours a day. McKay, this is how it goes. We'll cross one at a time. Each one of us is going to draw a fire. Try to spot him. You got it? We'll run fast, stay low, but run fast! How are you going to run fast and look for mines at the same time? This place is loaded with them. Don't you know that? Listen, if you haven't got stomach for this, you stay behind. But this is my patrol. You got that? McKay, follow me. Let's go. Did you see him? No. Move out. Stay down, cover me. Stay down. Okay, check Martin. Wilson, Stucky. Take his patches and papers. We'll take him back with us. I don't know what you did in K Company, but this is the way you fight a war. Martin's dead, Sergeant. Okay, we'll pick him up on the way back. Come on, we got a lot of ground to cover. Let's get moving. I told you this place was mine! The mine, Sarge. Stucky was right on top of it. Same intervals. A little slower. Watch out for those mines. top of that, it ought to make a nice observation point. You're supposed to be the expert in this area. What do you think? I don't know. We never got this far. Come on. Glasses, radio. All right, this is the way it's going to be. One man goes in with me, the other two cover. Anybody who wants it. I'll go. Well, well, the boy's got a hero complex. You ask for a volunteer. If you don't like it, you get yourself someone else. Just keep your shirt on. I wouldn't dream of depriving you of my company. All right. Wilson, McKay, 
Cover us. Any crowds in there, you're going to hear some shooting. If that happens, give us three minutes, and then take off back to the company. You got that? Got it, Sarge. And no grandstanding. Go back. OK, move out. OK, Rover boy, you first. Here. I thought I heard something. Take a look and I'll cover you. Okay. What do you suggest, Sergeant? Surrendering? No, we'll fight if we have to. Right now, let's just sit and wait. They may bypass us. Here's our team. There's a place below we can hide. I stripped down anything that makes any noise.
oben ist die Mann. Geh mir wieder runter. Regimental command post in the end. You know they're gonna attack pretty soon. We don't know where. That's what we've gotta find out. No. What we've gotta do is find a way out of here. Now look, Jack, because I'm not gonna get into this with you again. We're in the middle of a German regimental command post. I couldn't think of a better place to get the information. And how do we get that information back if we stay here? Radio. Negative. We're at least two miles out of range. We'd have a better chance of contacting them by shouting. It's worth a try. Ja. Checkmate love, over. Is that one of the patrols? I don't know, sir. I'm just barely picking them up. Wait a minute, sir. Wait a minute. Queen's Bishop, this is checkmate love, over. Queen's Bishop, this is checkmate love, over. That's Jenkins. I've lost him, sir. Well, stick with it. Let me know the minute you've got anything. Yes, sir. Checkmate love. Checkmate love. This is Queen's Bishop. This is Queen's Bishop, over. Schießen Sie los. Jawohl. 
Das Regiment bezieht Stellung. Wir erwarten die Verstärkung morgen früh. Jawohl. 6 Uhr. 6 Uhr. Die Brücke ist gesichert. Jawohl. Alles in Ordnung. Ja. Anything more? No, sir. Are you sure the call sign they used was Queen's Bishop? I think so, sir, but I could barely hear him. Jenkins' patrol is the only one still out. Anybody come back with anything yet? You know about what we knew two days ago. Nothing. Kommt die Milch hier? Von der Kuh, wo sonst? Sehr großartig. Before the war, Jenkins. I was a soldier. Regular army. Since I was 18 years old, I was a soldier. How about you, Saunders? Me? I sell shoes. Make love, this is Queen's Bishop Over. Checkmate love. Checkmate love, this is Queen's Bishop. Over. Why don't you try shouting now?
any kind of shot. Surrender! Surrender! Don't lose this. Yeah, but how about? Look out! Look out! Hi, come on! Come on, man! Wie wissen Sie denn das, was ich gesagt habe? I'm sorry, Colonel, I don't speak German. And how did you know what I said? Well, everybody knows expressions in Deutsch. What else do you know? Achtung, attention, schisch and shoot, meinen, mine, ein, one, zwei, two, Nazi, shoot, clerk! Oh! I hope that was a joke. I'm, I'm sorry, Colonel, it just came out that way. What is your name? Jenkins, Edward D. 12280496. What are you doing here? I was on the patrol. How many men were in the patrol? Five, sir. Are you the leader of the patrol? That's right. Where's the rest? One was killed by a sniper about a mile and a half back. The other one stepped on a mine right after. And the other two? They were killed outside and two men came up. How many Americans have been killed later? Two, Herr August. Did you use your radio? No, sir. Why not? I'm not range. Well, according to our intelligence, your lines are less than a mile away. I'm sorry, Colonel. I don't know where my lines are. You mean you wouldn't tell us where your lines are? I can't. I'm the only person there. All right. Have a. Hmm. Why are you wearing the uniform of a sergeant? That's my rank, sir. And why are you wearing a lieutenant's uniform in this photograph? It was a long time ago, sir. I, I'm a sergeant. Explain that to me. It was before the war. They discharged me, took away my commission. A year later, I enlisted again, that's all. Why did they discharge you? Well, they said I was an unfit officer. Is that true? Were you unfit? Yes, sir. Well, that's what they said. And why did you join the army again? I'm a soldier. Now, I want you to tell me where your lines are. I can't do that, Colonel. You have been found hiding in a German command post. You had a radio with you. I have reason to believe you are an officer, and yet you are in the uniform of a non-commissioned officer. This is enough evidence for me to shoot you as a spy, even under the terms of the Geneva Convention. If you do not cooperate, I'll have you shot at once. All right. Hauptmann Held, dieser Mann ist ein Spion und sofort zu erschießen. Raus mit dem Kerl! Nimmt ihn nun auf und der schüttet! Hell, I was in his hand! Mann, schnell! I was out! All right, I'll tell you! I'll tell you everything I can, Colonel! That sounds better. Lass ihn los. That's much better now. Now I want you to show me exactly where your regiment is deployed. We're southwest of here, about two miles. I said exactly. I'm gonna need a map. All right. Help and help. Thank you, Mr. Now. I'm sorry. Hey, get up. us. 
second battalion is butted in here next to the 263rd. Uh, are they masked for an attack? No, sir. We're dug in for an extended defense. And uh, this area, it is not defended? Waffenberg. here, southwest of the river. Well, there's a rumor that the 19th Division was moving in there. Well, now, uh, let's go back to this area here, where you claim not to know what the defense is. That's right, Colonel, I don't. I don't believe you. Hier ein paar amerikanische Schuhe gefunden. Amerikanische Schuhe? Das ist doch merkwürdig. Das stimmt doch was nicht. Soll das geht alle her! Roger, checkmate blew out. Sergeant Saunders, sir. What is it, Sergeant? Reporting for debriefing. I was on Jenkins' patrol. I think we have the information we need. Uh, where's, where's Jenkins? He's dead. They all are. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. Okay. Go get cleaned up, Sergeant. Uh, we'll get your report later. Captain, 
I said we got the information. We're in a German command post. We saw the maps. We know, we know where the Germans are going to attack. We know that. We're preparing a defense and counterattack right now. We broke the German code this morning. Captain Reed. Yes, sir. Captain. Captain. Sergeant, Jenkins gave up his life so I could stay alive and, and bring back this information. And now somebody is going to hear it. What's this, Captain? Sergeant Saunders was with Jenkins patrol, Major. They were very successful. Yes, sir, we were successful. We found out where the Germans are attacking. That's what we were sent out for, wasn't it? That's what Jenkins died for. Didn't Captain Reed tell you we broke the German code this morning? I'm trying to explain that this soldier gave up his life on purpose so, so I could get back alive with this information. And now you're telling me that this information isn't important. All right, gentlemen, move out to your units. Who said it isn't important? It was important enough for a couple of dozen guys to give up their lives for, wasn't it? You think I sent out those patrols without trying to protect and back up each man? There were hundreds of men sitting at desks trying to break that German code. We know of six members of the French underground who were killed trying to get the same information you got. The important thing is that we have it now. We don't have to risk any more lives. It really doesn't make much difference who got it first. You understand? Captain. Did you know Sergeant Jenkins personally? What, what I mean is, did you know anything about his, his past record? Yes, I uh, know all about his record. Well, he told me he was an officer before the war. Is that true? Well, not quite. He was made an officer when the war broke out. Well, what happened? Well, he was with a training command. I guess he was pretty rough on his men. Anyway, two boys uh, died from heat exhaustion on a forced march. The army didn't didn't think he was fit to be a, an officer. You know, it's a funny, funny thing, Major. I never had an easier time hating a man. And I'll never have a harder time forgetting one. 